morning, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swoosh, and I am reviewing the market here today. The FOMC minutes happen at 2 o'clock Eastern Time, and I predicted that the market would rally on the, the minutes, and that's what it did, and the target was really, I thought it could rally up to 14 or over 14, and I think we gap up tomorrow to 14, and rally to 115 and 116 to make new highs. So basically, I was looking for this move in the FMC minutes to move the market, which it did. We should gap neutral or up, to, we'll either gap neutral tomorrow or slight gap down or gap up and rally. There's no scenario that we will not rally tomorrow in the gap. We can gap down and we can uh, rally. We could gap neutral and rally. We could gap up and rally. There's nothing that we can't do to rally tomorrow. So the target for the market is 115, 115, 50, 116, and to set a new high for the year in the QQQs, which will take us into the end of the year, into the rally, into the Christmas rally that everyone talks about. But I will tell you that I saw this coming. It, it has taken pretty much all year. I have no idea why. The best explanation I can give for the calendar year, let's go all the way back to the beginning of, what was the opening of the year here? Just let me. Just find the first day of the year. Here. The, we opened in the QQQ's index at 103.76. Sometime between now and the end of the year, I'll do, a, I'll do a letter and a blog I'll put in the website. I did that last year. I'll make that an annual thing for everybody, okay? But we opened the year at 103.76. Despite the jimungus gap down, which happened, and I call this the anomaly day, it's a good word for it, strange occurrences that don't happen very out of the ordinary and don't think will ever happen again, August 24th, let's just go back, do you see this here, we, we actually held most of the year above the open. I know people don't look at it this way, but I do. And it's and it's significant. Don't count the anomaly day simply because it's an anomaly. It's in the chart, it's there, it's real. If anything, that gives me 100% conviction and confirmation the market's higher because of the fact that we gapped down big, opened and swooshed and negated the swoosh, which means that we got bought. But I will tell you that I always saw that this would happen into the end of the year. I'm surprised, though, that we really took so long this year to get going. So when I look at the market this year, well, how do I read the market trend? We'll close well over 10 points over the open of the year. That's not a banner year for the market. It's still a move up. It's still a rally. It is still a gain on the year in the QQQ index. Okay? So the fact is that we will still have a between 8 and 12% gain, I don't know how we close the year, in the, in the QQQs for the calendar year of 2015. And in a year where we had something like this, I got I to gotta tell you people, that is really stinking strong, okay? Because this gap, and it was a real gap, and I teach how to trade gaps and analyze gaps, and no one's better than reading gaps and, and overall trends than me, or I wouldn't have been able to see all this after this day and predicted as well as I have been even the FOMC minutes announcement but I'm telling you which was price related okay but I'm telling you though that I just lost my train of thought oh many many people looked at the year as as actually bearish and were shorting the market thought it was heavy thought it was going to drop thought it would fall off a planet thought it did fall off a planet which which we didn't and we could have. I look at the year as overall bullish. Could it have been more bullish? Yes. But was it still bullish anyways? Yes. Sometimes you have medium. Sometimes you have big moves. Sometimes you have rest years. I would say to cap off the year, I'd say we were bullish. If you said bullish slash neutral, I couldn't fault you if you count the anomaly day. But at the end of the day, the market will close in the calendar year of 2015 in a year that something crazy happened with a gain and that my friends is extremely bullish and a sign a sign to tell us that we're moving higher and that nothing is stopping us now so i have figured out all the numbers and even what i see as the timing of these numbers being very conservative if you want to do an options trade or a swing trade or a long-term trade in the market for the market outlook for 2016 
I'm doing a class and I was going to do it at the beginning of January of 2016. I decided to move the class up to the end of this calendar year so you can get in at a, at a better price if you want to do a long-term trade at a cheaper price to get into the option or into a, uh, a swing trade before January. So I decided to move the class up to January 28th. So if you want to take it, there's no prerequisites. I'm going to give you all the numbers, okay, for the QQQs and the SPY if you want to do them both. So if you're interested, email me at melissaatthestockswish.com. Anyone that watched my video this afternoon and has been watching all my videos knows I've called this market extremely accurate. And i got to be honest with you people, this was very challenging to do. And even I, every time I would see a gap, I would look at it in some of the gaps I even rated, even though I didn't intraday trade them. It's one of these things where if you understand how to read gaps, you learn how to read price better. And when you know how to read price extremely accurately like I do, you can predict the future moves of stocks and indices like the market. And that's the way you make money as a trader. Whether you do overnights or options or day traders, it's all the same strategy. It's the golden gap. It's the 26-point rating system that tells you what somebody's going to do. And there is so much information in gaps. But if you don't know how to read the gap right, then you don't know what to do with the information. And I teach this in my class. The last class for the calendar year is coming up this weekend. Deadline is set up. It's Friday the 18th. So email me. It's the 19th and 20th if you would like to sign up and learn how to trade before 2016. Boy, is 2016 going to be a banner year for me, for the stock swoosh, for all the trainers in my live trading room, for anyone that takes the market class or trains with me in the live room. It's going to be an amazing year. You're going to get to see me even live during the training room in 2016. How exciting is that for those people that are room members? It's, it's going to be a very hands-on experience, and I can't wait. Have a great night, everyone. Email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com if you would like more information, and have a great day.